St. Patrick's Day celebrations will be starting soon, and local officials are reminding everyone a final time to not drink and drive this weekend. Yeah, with St. Patrick's Day falling on a Friday, officials say they are expecting a possibly dangerous weekend. NBC 24 Sutton Donovan was with officials today. Now, Sutton, what was their message? Aaron, Juliana, the first message was don't drink and drive. The officials wanted everyone to know that black and white transportation and restaurants like Sean's behind me are partnering together to make sure everyone can get home safely. There's nothing more heartbreaking than to tell someone they were either severed, injured or died when it could have been prevented. As the St. Patrick's Day celebrations amp up, so will the police presence in our area. Law enforcement and health officials joined together on Thursday to put out one last reminder to the community. Don't drink and drive during the St. Patrick's Day celebrations. So our legal limit is 0 .08, um, but we've had had individuals that died of fatal crashes with a 0 .04 uh, in their system. With the holiday falling on a Friday, Natalie Haas with the health department said they're expecting a possibly dangerous weekend. That's why black and white transportation will now have a QR code where party goers can get a direct link to book a ride home. The codes will be at all Sean's Irish Tavern locations and Leroy and Margaret's. There will also be taxis at all locations and in the surrounding areas. You can leave your car here, it'll be okay, <laughs> but uh, you or someone else may not be. So Health officials said they see it every year, people getting in accidents over the St. Patrick's Day holiday. This is why they're urging one last time, make a plan now on how you're going to get home. We see these people on the worst day of their life and we also have to talk to families. Sometimes we have to let them know that their loved one will not be returning home. Whether you're the one who takes the key of the cars away, the, the person that makes the phone call so that they can really truly enjoy that evening and it doesn't turn into a night where they either end up in jail or they have to and face the responsibility of hurting another person's life or hurting their own lives, you know. The Toledo Police Department and Wood County Sheriff's Office will both have an increased presence throughout the weekend. Reporting live in Toledo, Sutton Donovan, NBC 24 News.